Characteristics of quadratic function. State the x-intercept, axis of symmetry, direction of opening, vertex, y-intercept, domain and range for the given equations. So we have two equations here. Both of them are in factored form. And let's see how to answer these questions when the equation is given to us in factored form. Now x-intercept is probably the easiest to read from equations in this form. So x intercept for us here is at x equals to when these are 0, x equals to 0 and at x equals to minus 4. For this equation it is x equals to minus 2 and x equals to plus 4, correct? Axis of symmetry. For axis of symmetry we are actually looking at midway between them, right? So we say axis of symmetry is a value which is right through the center of these two. You know parabolas are symmetric so the point of symmetry is right between the two x-intercepts. We get that by taking average value of these two. 0 plus the second x-intercept is minus 4 divided by 2 and that gives us minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So x equals to minus 2 is the axis of symmetry for the first equation. Here x equals to minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2 and that gives us 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 by 2 is 1. So x of symmetry is x equals to 1 for the second equation. Now to find direction of opening, so direction of opening is straight right from the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is negative here. Negative means it opens downwards. In this case, when you multiply x and x, you get positive x squared. So it is going to open upwards, correct? Now we need to find what vertex is. Now vertex is the maximum or minimum value of the function which lies on the axis of symmetry. So in that case, let's plug in minus 2 for x and find the value. So y will be equals to, when you plug in minus 2 here, we get minus of minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4 and that gives you a value which is minus or minus 2 is plus 2 right so it is 2 times and here also we have 2 that is 4 so the vertex is is a point on the axis of symmetry which is x value of minus 2 and the y value of 4 now that's the vertex now from the vertex we should have also asked you what is maximum or minimum value so in this case let's see whether we have maximum or minimum since this parabola opens downwards we have maximum so we have maximum of y equals to 4 right y equals to 4 the y value gives you the maximum value right and this is at x equals to minus 2 that is how the vertex comes into play now to find the vertex for the second equation we will do the same thing. So we will plug in the axis of symmetry x equals to 1 value here and find y. So y equals to 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 4 which gives us 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 minus 2 is minus 3. So that means minus 9. So we have maximum or minimum value of minus 9. How to figure out whether it is maximum or minimum? Since this parabola opens up like this, right, so it has a minimum. So we have a minimum of minus 9 in this case, right? Y-intercept. To find Y-intercept, we need to place X equals to 0. Now as soon as I put X equals to 0 in the first equation, I get Y equals to 0 times 0 plus 4, and indeed it is minus 0, and indeed it is 0. So the y-intercept is at origin. In this case, when I put x equals to 0, what do I get? I get y equals to 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 4. That is 4 times 2 is 8 with a negative sign. At minus 8, we have the y-intercept. Domain. Domain of all parabolas is x belongs to real numbers, right? There is no restriction on the domain of the function it is x belongs to real number but range is restricted 
It really depends on the direction of opening and the vertex. So the first op equation is opening downwards, right? So here y is less than the maximum value. So say y belongs to real numbers so that y is less than and equal to the maximum value which are in our case was 4. And in this case range is y belongs to real numbers but y is greater than and equal to the minimum value of minus 9. So like this you can get all your characteristics. Now as a part of an edit exercise I would like you to neatly sketch both the parabolas, right? You know the x-intercepts, y-intercepts, domain range, all the needed characteristics which will help you to sketch these parabolas, right? A rough sketch could be something like this. You can just draw the parabola like this and, you know, in this first case, your x-intercepts are at 0 and the other one is at minus 4. So actually, I should have drawn the line on the other side since the other one is this. So I'll redraw. So that is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. Now here we have minus 4. So that is my first x-intercept. The second one is at minus 4. The maximum I have is at 4. So this point is 4 for us, right? As you can see, y-intercept is right there at the origin. Now in this particular case, the graph is opening upwards, as you know, vertex is at minus 9 and the two x-intercepts are minus 2 and plus 4. So here when you draw the graph you can consider it kind of like this minus 2 plus 4 and the graph goes like this right. So this point is minus 2 for you this point is 4 for you that is your vertex and the position of vertex is right in between the two where x value is 1 and the y value is minus 9, right? So that gives you approximate sketch of the given function. But I'd like you to draw a neat graph and check all the values. I hope with this you understand all about the characteristics of quadratic function and you also now have a good feeling that when the equation is given in factored form it is so simple to find x-intercepts otherwise kind of difficult. Thank you and all the best.